Good morning and welcome to the 20th annual Walk for the Animals. Normally we'd all be together in person in downtown West Palm Beach, but this year we're doing things a little differently. We're going to be walking together virtually. In just a few moments, our staff and volunteers will walk for the animals around the bone-shaped lake here at Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League. You'll get to meet some of the faces, both two and four-legged, that make Peggy Adams a great place to be. Supporting this year's Walk for the Animals means that you are making a difference in the lives of the animals in Palm Beach County. Annually, more than 35,000 dogs and cats utilize our services, whether that is for adoptions, our affordable wellness clinic, or our spay and neuter service. Our Peggy's Pantry Pet Food Bank provides food and necessary supplies to pets in an effort to keep them in their homes and with the families that love them. We provide free basic training classes for dogs nearly every Saturday, but we couldn't do this without your support. The funds raised through our Walk for the Animals goes towards continuing these programs. By donating and fundraising, you are saving lives. All day today, we'll be posting videos showing behind the scenes of what we do every day here at Peggy Adams. You'll be able to see your donations at work. We also have some very special treats for you. Enjoy a story time with an adorable special guest. Grab your friends and family and participate in a fun scavenger hunt. And meet the adoptable animals we will be walking with this morning. Now. All these pups and their handlers behind me are anxiously waiting for us to get walking. Let's kick off this year's walk for the animals. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's walk! Woo! How are you, Cam? Who you got here? Hello, Monty. Very sweet, energetic boy. I can tell he's really sweet. This is Kim Bailey, one of our fabulous adoption counselors. So Kim, tell me about yourself and who do you got here? My name is Kim. I'm an adoption coordinator here at Peggy Adams. And this is my friend Yeti. He's a three-year-old American Bulldog. He's Hello, 82 Yeti. pounds. And he is the sweetest dog. How are you? Good boy, Yeti, yes. Good boy. What a good boy. And loves the camera. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Good boy, Yeti. What a beautiful day. Who do we got here? This is Caesar. Hello, Caesar. How are you? What a cutie. Hi, see. Wave to our friends. Hi. Say hi. What a great day for the animals. We're so happy that so many people are out there walking on their own today and raising money for all the dogs and cats that need a little help to find them new homes. Hey buddy, how are you? Hello Jade, how are you? What do you know about Jade? She's four years old, 73 pounds. She's happy and gentle. Oh, what a sweetheart. She likes her picture taken. <laughs> Obviously. Jade, what a good girl. Thank you to our sponsors today. United here. We couldn't do this event without sponsors like this. Helping us find new homes for these great dogs and cats. Hello, Jessica. Hey, Rich. How are you today? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your friend here you got photographed. So I am uh, a member of the medical services team here at Peggy Adams. Um, we are able to provide some really great medical care for these animals. Everyone that comes to us gets a an intake exam so we can assess their, their um, what shape they're in, how they're looking, and we're able to provide um, the vaccinations they need, the preventative they need, and even specialist care if necessary. We also are able to um, provide our community pet owners with uh, low-cost vaccines. Last year we did um, over 3,300 vaccines for our community. 
and we also provide spay and neuter services. We did almost 11,000 spay and neuter surgeries for our community last year. So Amazing. It's a wonderful. Even during a pandemic. Even during the pandemic, we were able to do those things, yes. So, and I have Ash here. He was one of our um, kitties who were, was brought in as a stray, as a kitten. He had a terrible eye infection was not able to see with either of those eyes, but with our medical team, we were able to provide all the care that he needed and even the operation that he needed to be able to lead a happy, healthy life. So he's available to adopt. He's only four months old, good with cats, and such a sweet little guy. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get Ash a new home. So all of you out there, help us find Ash a new home. Maybe you'd like to adopt Ash. So come see us and come meet Ash. Thank you, Jessica. You're welcome. Like Jessica said, we provide an incredible amount of medical support for the animals that we receive. We have a special fund called Olivia's Fund that will provide extraordinary medical care. Um, we have dogs that sometimes we get from the county shelter that have been hit by cars um, and they need major surgery, say on a leg or a knee. Um, so we provide all sorts of services to animals that really desperately need help. We get them fixed, get them healthy, and then find them the perfect loving homes that they deserve. Who we got here? This is Nugget. Hello, Nugget. Woo, Nugget. Nugget is a great, great young boy. Oh, you're so cute, Nugget. Do we know how old Nugget is? 10 months old. 10 months old. And friendly and wants attention and wants love. Great, great dog. Oh, what a sweetheart. Oh, yeah. What a good boy. Good boy. Nugget's available for adoption, so come on and meet him and the dozens of other dogs that we're looking to place in the new homes. Thank you. Good job, Nugget. Let me introduce you to David Lynch. Hey, guys. So, David, who do you got here? I have Gucci. Hello, Gucci. So, David, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here, and then tell us a little bit about, a little bit about Gucci. So my name's David. I'm the Associate Director of Client Experience. Pretty much my job is to make sure that anybody who visits our campus, whether admissions to adoptions, has a, has a great time and uh, really fulfills all of their needs and expectations that, the, that they have of the league. And so Gucci here. Tell us a little bit about Gucci. Gucci is a year and one old. He's a big boy. His, big boy. His uh, previous owner, you know, had to downsize financial reasons due to the pandemic, unfortunately. And uh, he's just... He loves to announce his presence. He has a very big <laughs> presence. He does do great with kids. Three small kids lived in the home. He was their best bud, and he does he does get along with other dogs. He just sometimes gets a little bit vocal, but don't be worried about that. Um, other than that, he likes to give you big, wet, slobbery kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love his colorings. Hey, Gucci. Gucci, <laughs> how you doing, bud? You're a good boy. Just a big baby. Big baby. We got lots of big babies at Peggy Adams. Good boy. Hi. Hi. Good boy. Thank you, David. Thank you. So as David said, you know, we, we try to provide services to folks who are struggling financially and during the pandemic, we've seen a lot of that. Unfortunately, Gucci is a dog that these folks didn't have any other, any other option, but we're really happy and glad that the family, you know, took the care and loved this dog so much that they brought him to Peggy Adams knowing that we would find them another great, great home. Um, so again, we need your help spreading the word about all the dogs and the cats that we have at Peggy Adams that need new homes each and every day. Today, we have upwards of 600 animals in our care, dogs and cats. During the peak season, we'll have as many as 1,300 animals in our care. And your support makes it possible to provide the daily care for those animals and to find them the new homes that they deserve. So what you're doing today, walking for the animals, is critical to us. It's a, it's a fun event, but it's also an incredibly important event. And we cannot thank you enough for raising money during this Walk for the Animals, this virtual Walk for the Animals, so that we can care for all these great, great animals. Who's this? Landy. This is Landy. Hello, Landy. I saw, your, I saw you online, on a website. He is. I think he's the pet of the week. You are, you are the pet of the week. Look at you, Landy. And what, what, what can you tell us about Landy? So Landy is a three-year-old mixed breed. He was one of our Puerto Rican dogs. So he was on the medical team for a while. He had 
some leg surgery, so you can see his hair is still kind of growing back, but he's doing amazing. Um, he's a pretty high energy dog. Um, don't be fooled right now. He is a little nervous. There's lots of people around. Um, I believe he has done well with small dogs. They haven't tested him with large dogs, large dogs yet, but I have no doubt in my mind yeah. that he would be great oh, with yeah. large dogs because he just wants to say hello to everyone That's here. That's great. That's great. Um, and he is just such a sweetheart. Um, he yeah. loves giving kisses. He's always wagging his tail. He is such a good boy. All right. Um, loves food. Definitely loves food. Loves, loves food. food. All right, let's find let's find Landy a great new yeah, home. Absolutely. So Landy came from Puerto Rico, um, but the reality is our focus is on Palm Beach County and the animals here and more or less 99% of the animals, the dogs, the cats come from Palm Beach County, but we are called on periodically to help other shelters, whether they be somewhere else in the United States, here in Florida, or even in Puerto Rico or the Bahamas. Um, Organizations know Peggy Adams uh, for, the, for the work that we do. And so when they need help, we're one of the first organizations they call to see if we can help with animals that they need help placing into new homes. Um, we are placement partners with ASPCA, with the Humane Society of the United States, Best Friends Animal Society. Um, thanks to you, we're able to step in when we can to help these animals that, you know, they might be affected by a hurricane they might have been rescued in a hoarding case in another state. Um, or they could have been rescued from a hoarding case here in Palm Beach County, which unfortunately happens on occasion. Um, so again, this is all because of your support that we can do this kind of work. So, hello, hello how are we doing? Very good, how are you? So Nikki, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and uh, who we're gonna meet today. Okay, well again, my name is Nikki. I'm the offsite adoption manager and to my right, Hello, is my right Ashley. and my left hand gal, Ashley. And we coordinate getting cats and kittens from Peggy Adams to the pet stores. And this is such a tremendous, huge program because uh, we make space at Peggy Adams to help more animals. So featured today is Tigger, or Tiger, sorry, and Beverly. And this is sister and brother. They're three years old. They were owner surrendered because unfortunately the owner couldn't keep them any longer. And we're really trying hard to get them adopted together. They're located at the PetSmart on Congress in Lake Park. And Peggy Adams is in 15 pet stores throughout Palm Beach County, starting from Palm Beach Gardens all the way to Boca Raton. That's 58 miles worth of land we cover to get these little guys adopted. Uh, so we are in every single pet supermarket store in Palm Beach County. We're at the Petco right here in West Palm Beach on Okeechobee and Military, plus the Petco in Palm Beach Gardens in Legacy Place, and we're in the two Pet Smarts, one at the Outlet Mall, right down the road from us, and the Pet Smart, where these two babies are available for adoption, hopefully together, right. at the Lake Park store. Last year, we adopted out 1,524 cats and kittens from these locations. In addition to doing the pet stores, we also do our off-site adoption events, third-party events, and anything that Peggy Adams is going to do to promote adopting cats and kittens, plus, our monthly Napleton's event, uh, who is one of our tremendous sponsors that provide us with cars so we can drive all these babies around town. All right, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Ashley. We are incredibly grateful for our pet store partners. Every year, roughly 20 to 25% of all adoptions that we do through Peggy Adams happen at those pet store, uh, at those partner pet stores. So those partnerships are incredibly important to us and we are so incredibly grateful for all those partners that we have. I do want to stop and recognize MetLife, who is our presenting sponsor for this year's Walk for the Animals. We are incredibly grateful uh, for MetLife's support. We work with MetLife um, on, our, on pet insurance and encouraging people to make sure that they, they obtain pet insurance for their animals because as most of you know, um, vet bills can be relatively expensive. So we are very grateful for MetLife as being, for being this year's presenting sponsor of the Walk for the Animals, our 20th annual Walk for the Animals. A little bit different this year with masks and trying to be social distance, but you know we are looking forward to next year being back on the waterfront in West Palm Beach for the 21st annual Walk for the Animals. 
But today is a beautiful day. And again, I can't thank you enough for walking with us, walking on your own, raising money for these great animals so that we can find them new homes. Hello, Nicole. Hey, how's it going? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Who do you got here? This is Rocky. Rocky is five years old. He weighs 60 pounds. Yeah, yeah he's doing brother. great. So Nicole, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do here yeah. at Peggy Adams. So my name's Nicole. I'm part of the animal care team here at Peggy Adams. We are responsible for taking care of the daily duties, such as cleaning, feeding, socialization, enrichment, making sure our animals stay happy and healthy, basically. Awesome. So Rocky here is available for adoption. Correct. He's a yeah. big baby. Like yeah, he's so sweet. He's really sweet with people. He is a little dog selective, but um, I'm super proud of him today. He's been doing a great job. So uh, he's definitely looking for a forever home, and he's an amazing guy. I don't know why he's still here, honestly. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. I've got I've got three dogs. They're all dog selective. Oh yeah. So I totally yeah. get it. Yeah. You know, of course. I mean, people are people selective, right? Right. Right. So you know, it's no surprise that dogs can be dog yeah. selective. Yeah. Right. And we do dog meets too, so we can make sure it's like the perfect yeah. match for your home if you bring your dog in and eat Rocky. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Nicole. Of course. Let's get Rocky home. Yeah. We are surprised he's still with us. <laughs> he hasn't been here all that long, but you know he's been here longer than he really should be. You know, as nice as it is at Peggy Adams, you know it's not a home. So right. let's find him a good family and get him in a new home as quickly as we can. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks. Nice chatting with you. So Nicole is one of about 120 paid staff that we have here at Peggy Adams. When we're providing care for 600 animals today, 1,300 during our peak season, you know, it really requires a lot of hands and a lot of care for these animals. So we're a large operation, like I said, about 120 staff. We also have more than 1,000 volunteers, volunteers that work and help us on site doing everything from walking animals to, to socializing kittens, to working in our surgical area. Volunteers are put to work throughout Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League. So most people think that if you're gonna volunteer at an animal shelter, you know, your only option is to work directly with the animals. But that's actually not true. We've got, we've got volunteers who work in our marketing department. Um, they work throughout the organization. Volunteers in our Humane Education Program. You name it, if you've got a talent, a skill, and you want to help the animals as a volunteer, please contact us. Go on our website, peggyadams.org, and learn all about our volunteer program. We cannot do what we do. We can't save the lives that we save without all these great volunteers that we have. And all these dogs and all these cats that you see today, and some of our staff, you can see them on, on our website, peggyadams.org. Great resource, we've got resources available for the community. Information about adoptions, information about our, our food pantry, Peggy's Pantry. If you are struggling financially and you need just a little bit of assistance feeding your animals, we wanna help. So again, all the information about Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League is on our website, peggyadams.org. And I mentioned staff, with that many staff, we always have opportunities for people to come work at Peggy Adams. And again, go to our website, peggyadams.org forward slash career opportunities, and you'll see what opportunities you have to come join this great team at Peggy Adams. All right, we're gonna go see Katie. She's gonna navigate through the walk. Hello, Katie. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Who do you got here? This is Bear. He is an eight-year-old golden retriever. Hello, Bear. And he actually came in with his best friend, who is a 15-year-old yes. cat named Saba. We love them. Yeah, they're really, really great. He is super sweet. He really loves his brother. His brother is super sweet as well. These guys are awesome and super snuggly. Hey, Bear. Oh. Hey, Katie, uh, share with everyone what you do here at Peggy Adams. Yeah, so I am the Associate Director of Animal Operations. Um, that means that I oversee shelter operations, uh, the foster program, and I also oversee the uh, kitten nursery. That's fabulous. And, you know, when we talk about fostering, you know, fostering typically, you know, our biggest need is fostering kittens during kitten season, which is right around the corner. Um, so if you'd like to provide a temporary home 
um, for cats or dogs, um, you can foster either or. We've got animals, we've got, I don't know how many cats are still in foster today. Right now we have <laughs> about 246 animals in our foster program. Yeah, so we're always, you know, as a foster volunteer, you are not only helping save the animal that is gonna be living with you temporarily, but it opens up space at our, at our shelter to save another animal. So foster is so incredibly important. And how many fosters do we have? Foster volunteers? Right now, so in 2020, we had about 3,056 animals in foster homes, which is incredible. That's a whole bunch of lives that we were able to save because of our foster parents. And about 653 different foster parents stepped up in our community to help these animals out. Awesome, awesome. Again, we, you know, the foster program is so incredibly important to saving lives here in Palm Beach County, and we're always looking for more foster volunteers. So again, check out our website, PeggyAdams.org, and learn more about how to become a foster volunteer. Thanks, Katie. You're Thanks, welcome. Bear. We're also getting, getting ready to open up our new pet adoption center. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out on our website, PeggyAdams.org. This new adoption center is gonna be one of the finest facilities you'll find anywhere in the country and it's going to help us save thousands more lives than we can today and it's going to be just going to be a great facility for the animals um, but also for the public it's going to be an incredibly welcoming and happy place for the public to come in visit with our cats and dogs but also take advantage of our other programs like our humane education program so we're really excited we plan on opening that new facility in early march and look forward to having you come out to see that. I want to thank NCCI for being one of our great walk sponsors, Sentown, Hills Pet, Hills Science Diet, which is which is our food partner. You know we get so much donated food for our shelter animals. Uh, we you know we are incredibly grateful for the support that we get from Hills Science Diet. And Hills Science Diet, they've got a feeding program that works with shelters all over the country. They are an incredibly generous company and shelters you know, are just incredibly grateful for that support that they get. Because as you can, as you can imagine, when you're trying to feed upwards of 1,300 animals on a daily basis, that can be pretty expensive. I wanna thank you all again. Again, thank you for joining us today, walking on your own, raising money for the animals. Again, what you do today and when you raise money for the animals in our care, you know, you are making an incredible difference here at Peggy Adams. So thank you for joining us virtually for the 20th annual walk for the animals. We here at Peggy Adams appreciate your support like you wouldn't believe. There's still time to donate to the walk at walkwithpeggy.org. The website will remain open for two weeks. We also want to thank our many generous sponsors, including our presenting sponsor, MetLife Pet Insurance, Cass Construction and Hills Pet Nutrition have both contributed to a matching challenge so that any donations you make on walkwithpeggy.org will be doubled during the challenge. Don't forget to tune in right here to the Peggy Adams Facebook page throughout the day for some behind the scenes videos, story time, and a really fun scavenger hunt. From all of us here at Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League, thank you so much for helping us save lives.